Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, Part 17. This is Ron Moore, along with Tibbs and Jeff. Hello. Hello, lady. All right, so. Yeah, we are going to do some more po collecting and stuff. Going to get some poes from the po. Yeah, from the po-po. Man, I'm all, I'm all about them poes. Ah, dang it. Going to get some poes, have a cup of joe. Friggin' tech tights, man. Leave me alone. Oh dear lord. Ah. Yeah. Alright, so man, where is Link going? Are we going to, uh, uh, up the mountain somewhere? Some sort of rocky terrain. Oh no. Rocky We're going Mountain down. High. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, John Denver. Yeah. Go get your country music. Oh no, look out. <laughs> I like how. So it's in trolls. <laughs> I like yeah. how some of the trolls are actually trying to kill you, and the other ones are just walking around like, whatever. Those Dallas Cowboys haters have ammunition now. And, and <laughs> <laughs> Cow <laughs> Cowboys suck. The Bears. Yes. <laughs> how about them Cowboys? Yeah. As a not Cowboys fan, yeah, as a Cowboys fan, not happy right now, but they had a great season, though, at least. They had a great season to suck. <laughs> no, 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 this this year they were ECW. They were number one, number one seed, and they barely lost by three points. But congratulations Ronnie. to the Packers. Good, good job, Packers. The the triple fudge Packers. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, Sorry, Aaron, 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 Aaron Rodgers though is legit. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where I got that from. He's so become one of the greats for sure. Yeah, someone said he's the Michael Jordan equivalent of football. I wouldn't say that, but he's still good. I, I have no clue what seating is and what you're talking about. I just don't, <laughs> you know. I mean, I'm like, yeah, go team, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you only care about the Cubs and the Bears and the Blackhawks. The, the Bears. All right. Oh, back in Goron's mines again. Whoa, that's a big diamond in there. It's pretty cool, yeah. He just broke both his legs. Yeah, why don't you go steal that giant diamond and just go home? Forget about all this quest stuff. Well, but, uh, I believe there's a heart piece somewhere in here. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to might kill myself in lava for a heart piece. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's worth it to try to capture someone's heart. Whoa. whoa. You know, in this, in, this, in this game, the Master Sword looks incredibly huge, like super long. Maybe yeah. he's compensating for something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, your your body should be burning at this point. Like, hey, no, that, that, that 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 is something weird because like in Ocarina of Time you needed the fire tunic. In this game you do not. You're okay. He'll be okay, Link. Are are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Go in there. You'll be fine. He's Link. dead. Link. I'm from Texas. Yeah, I'm used to it. Remember, this Link can turn into a wolf, so he's otherworldly. Yeah. Yeah. He is a Brock Lesnar. I mean, beast. Hashtag not cut. my link. All right, so now we're going to play this bonus game here. That should be the uh, the official hashtag of everyone that hates evolution. That's not my link. <laughs> hashtag not my link. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know those people with the hashtag not my president. It's just a funny thing off it because he isn't my link. Only link to the past link will be my link forever. <laughs> These fangirls here. Is that the average Zelda fangirl right there? Yeah, as Link is ready to uh, have a wrestling match against Bonesaw McGraw in the Elimination Chamber. <laughs> you going nowhere. I got you for three whole minutes. Three minutes of playtime! There you go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, why do you have to be dead, Macho Man? Yeah. yeah the creep of the crop! Yeah. Oh yeah. You better pick up the pick up the payphone, the background. You better pick up the phone and call somebody. <laughs> <laughs> he my game's that. my thing, yeah. Oh, dang it, I he fell. Says that, oh boy. I fell right here as Jeff makes me do this again. I know, I'm sorry, man. You gotta pay me the money. You gotta pay the troll toll to get in this boy's home. The troll toll. What is this, Shadowgate? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's soul. <laughs> 
It's no, no, hole, no, soul. So, a job soul, bro. A job soul, bro. Points for reference. <laughs> oh, goodness. I was gonna talk Money, my man. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna talk about Macho Man uh, Randy Savage. Like, you know, he's in that cage, and you were saying make a collect call, and it's like, why don't you talk about Carrot Top then? Or is that too old of reference for your viewers? <laughs> no. Oh, fuck Carrot Top. No, he did those collect commercials back when phones mattered. Oh, yeah, I, try. I remember that. Speaking of Randy Savage, I've been meaning to tell you this for a long time, Ronnie. My fa- The thing that always makes me laugh in the WrestleMania video you do with Swindoll is at the beginning where you're going through the characters and you get to Macho Man and you call him Macho Man Randy Travis. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that was, Swindoll, that was Swindoll that said that, yeah. No, you said it, I think. No, that was him. That was him. Really? Yeah, that was him. That sounded like you. No, no, that was him. The Macho Man. I have to go back and watch Travis. that. Yeah. All right, so we're done with this bonus game. As I got the big quiver, I can hold more arrows now. And oh, that's what she said. Spangirl's here. That's Principal McVicker's favorite item, the quiver. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Eek, the cat. As I capture their hearts, wait, they don't sound right. Why don't you have a seat over there, Mr. Link? Why don't you have a seat over there? <laughs> You were in, Link, you were in the tent with these girls. Yeah, you pitched a tent all right. <laughs> Anyone ever notice their colors are red, blue, and green? How significant. That's ah. great. They're all three going to marry Link because he's, he's technically a Mormon. It's a long story. Yeah, Mormon. High rule Mormon. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. That, that's why he, there's only one of them left. <laughs> all right, so let's get out of High Rule Castle Town and go back to High Rule Failed. We're alive, ladies and gentlemen, here at High Rule Field in the High Rule Coliseum. Link, former uh, uh, running back for the High Rule Warriors in High Rule State. Man, he's sure going to have back problems there. Yeah, right. Well, that's how he rolls. <laughs> oh, my back. Oh, my. Imagine hitting that shield. Like, ow, ow. I know, right? This is not what a the... faster form of transportation. Uh, Agatha, what are you doing oh, look out who's here? here? Trying to collect more bugs. I, like I said, I have a co-worker who reminds me of her. And I showed her the video, and she was next to, next to some Civil War knives, and she goes, Ronnie, that's not me. I'm standing to a bunch of knives here. <laughs> you know, shouldn't that girl be back in her little uh, emo anime show? I'm sure there's one she's meant for. Maybe like Witch Hunter Robin or something. Yeah. Ah, puppies, oh. JR. Well, here we go. Uh, Link, what are you doing? You know it's, you're not in danger. It's, it's the same guy that's been training you. Put your sword away. It's okay. Well, he's getting ready, Ronnie. He's getting ready. Oh, I guess so. Ready to rumble? Ready to rumble two electric boogaloo. We meet again. This next, this next is the great. Wait, this next is the greatest. Uh, is that a typo? <laughs> Are they supposed to say this next? NXT. Yeah, NXT. Yeah. What does NXT Miyam stand for? I don't get it. <laughs> Miyamoto, can you just give me one game like Legend of Zelda two electric boogaloo? <laughs> it's about street dancing. It's great. All right, time to run the Helm Splitter. Oh, the Helm Splitter. Hurricane Helm Splitter? Phil. Mm, helm Splitter. Stand back. Yeah. At the helm of the fight. Hunter Hearst Helmsley? Stop making helm punts, man. Yeah. Shut up. Womp, womp, womp. Hunter, Hunter Hearst Helm Splitter. Hiya! With his finishing move, the pedic here. <laughs> Oh, this is the Helm Splitter. Show it to me. Yikes. It's a death blow. Yeah, you almost murdered the guy you're trying to take. Yeah. Oh. That looked like you flipped over, hit him on the head, and hit him in the back. I don't know if I'd call that Helm oh. Splitter. Link yeah. knows all about taking guys from the back. Oh, <laughs> he knows about getting it from the back. <laughs> Hiya! Alright, land the house, but huh? Three more hidden skills. Daily Actually, sword training? Get that ass to take care I, of. I don't even practice with the sword. What? I don't need practice. No, hey, but the bench warmers, don't chop at it. It's not a sword. You're not a sword! <laughs> <laughs> You're a towel! Yeah. I rule fail, fail? No, that was fail. I rule field. <laughs> All right. 
what to do next here, I think, to collect some more pose. Posey. Where I live at, my, my old job. Around that's the Posey. My, I knew a guy named Gary Posey, I think, or Garrett Posey. Um, Parker but, Posey? Yeah. Like, my, my, my old job that shut down, before it was uh, Carino's, it was a place called Po Boys, I think, or Po Folks. Yeah, Po Folks. It was like a, kind of like a yeah, just, restaurant that had a po' boy sandwich, I think. It's pretty good. She you just good. got po'd. <laughs> yep. Back in Hyrule Castle Town again. It's freaking flea market. <laughs> <laughs> At the Come down Saturday, Saturday, Saturday to the Hyrule Flea Market. We've got everything you need. Rubies, pots, uh, swords. Why not? Yeah. And then Link, a wolf comes Link, by. Link's a pothead, but a different... In a different way. Well, you want a dog? We got a dog. You want a bone? We got bones. Come on down this Saturday and Sunday. Oh man, you can tell there's really nothing else to do right don't now. Worry about, fetch. Don't worry about the barrier surrounding our castle. It's fine, guy. <laughs> it's fine. Come on down. There, we promise there are no Ganondorfs there. We seriously promise you. I guarantee yeah. it. Yeah. So <laughs> like this bitch is following him. Oh. Jeez, stalkers. See, that's entrapment. Chris Hansen's waiting to have an excuse to have me take a seat. <laughs> They're following me. All right? That's entrapment. They're trying to engage with me. This perverted Justice High Rule Edition, or uh, To Catch a Predator. And we're now in High Rolled. High Rolled. High Well, the good news. <laughs> well, we just disappeared there. The good news is uh, that, that Perverted Justice, they've been closed down. Their, their CEO wasted all their money on parties. Really? Yeah. So who is Chris Hansen working with today? For Hansen it's a different Perfect. organization. I, I don't remember their name yet. I'd have to listen in again. But yeah, it's a different organization now. Well, we're, we're now we're now planning to catch a Poe. Chris Hansen is working with the Catholic Church. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. Oh. They're good at getting little boys. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Yeah. To, to our Catholic fans, we apologize and God bless the Pope. Yeah. All right, and so, for everyone who wants to use this series as a walkthrough, uh, I don't know what to tell you. All right, yeah. Don't. If you go to a Catholic school, do not play this. Remember that ghetto one, David Schumacher? Uh, I'm going to be in the news, dog. And Chris Hansen goes, well, it's a little late for that, dog. <laughs> a, little, a little late for that. <laughs> you you oh, just killed that chicken. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. A little known fact, we guy was one of the decoys on this kid. Did he dress up like Link? Yes, how did you? No, um. No, 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 seriously, there's like a young 18-year-old decoy on the Catch a Predator that uh, met up with this guy, and, a, and I think J-Man said, well, that's we guy. He's an under, undercover decoy. I said, yeah, yeah, that's... Ronnie, did I, did I ever send you that the best of uh, to Catch a Predator? I think I did. Uh, you or J-Man they, probably did. They had a, yeah, they had a whole bunch of compilations. It was amazing. I nice. usually don't like those shows, but it was great. Yeah. Didn't one guy kill himself after? It was a lawyer yeah. shot himself in the head, I think, yeah. yeah. Something like that. You shouldn't be diddling kids. Did you ever see the South Park where they, ha they like, made fun of the whole Chris Hansen thing? No, I didn't oh, see yeah. that one. I mean... It's like they, pl they, they placed, like, guys kept coming in and coming in, and the moment they saw Chris Hansen, they would take a gun and kill themselves, but they just <laughs> kept coming in and coming in. Yes. Oh, well. Uh, well, well, you know, at the same time, Chris Hansen is using this, you know, for... His own game. I don't know. It's a two-way street when it comes to this thing. Didn't you already do this, Ronnie? Yeah, I'm doing it again to get more rupees here. <laughs> this is what the folks pay for right here. <laughs> Zelda Let's Play and Sex Perversion Discussions. Yeah, right. <laughs> we are the best, folks. Oh, uh, The making of a great Red Supreme video. Right, oh, yeah. I know. We just need at least one slow beef or one diabetes. I know it's diabetes. Yeah, right? they'll, 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 uh... When they do, if they do Reciprius, which I doubt it, but they did, it would be like, uh, they would name it, uh, Let's Play to Catch a Predator, Part 17. You know, <laughs> I, I, I've, heard, I've heard them speak, they won't Let's Play, or they won't RP an LP that is like really, you know, with a lot of talking, well done. It usually has to be like one sad guy doing like, the, you know, stuff like that. Like we're at least having a good time here. We're not. Yeah, we're they, not bad enough. Unfortunately, to be they don't do Red Supreme anymore. At least not of people's LPs. No, yeah. and the only way they ever do them anymore is that they get they after they do it. If the guy doesn't like it, they'll take it off. So that's kind of a problem too. 
Yeah. But they're nice about it. I miss the good old days. Gosh, stop. Take a joke, people. All you terrible well, Let's Players, take a joke. Well, I mean, I, to be fair, if I got Rusty Prey back then, it probably hurt. It could it could damage you if you're a noob. You're just like, oh, man, I'm terrible. I'm being made fun of already. Yeah, but then you get, like, several subscribers at least. Yeah, but are those subscribers going to be trolls and haters wishing you to die of cancer, or are they going to actually like your content? Well, I, I don't think they'll like your content, but they'll just be fascinated that you're there. I, yeah. I've never heard of anyone saying, I hope you die of cancer because of a Red 2 Prey video. Well, I mean, well, there more views that, is always better. There, there, are, there are trolls that post comments if you suck. Like, man, I hope you get cancer and then die, or like the kid that made fun of Contra. Someone, you know, wish he would die and, and uh, or just saying just malicious things about him. I'm like, just because the kid sucks and reviews don't mean you have to send him death threats or wish cancer on somebody. Like, jeez, people. No. And so it yeah. Prey might have it's not Vince directly. Russo. <laughs> yeah. No, and, and, you're, and you're absolutely right as you run right into that explosion. No, I, I agree, but I'll tell you what, there's one funny one. It is this kid playing uh, Mario Party alone, and there's clearly a group of people, like, the next room over or very close to him. And I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, I remember a kid, I forgot his name, um, he did a series called Review of the Reviewers. Uh -huh. he, Charlie knew him. Charlie talked to him before. He reviewed Charlie's okay. Trigger Sega channel. And, yeah. Uh, he uh, reviewed uh, someone, I forgot what the channel name was, but... It was uh, kind of like what I did, a webcam from the TV. Yeah. And uh, But there was a bunch of his friends in the living room, like the audience. Hey, hey everybody, yeah. And then they started playing a random game, and the, the yeah. kid was, like, bashing. And he also bashed the Angry Nintendo Kid Metroid review. That was pretty funny. Angry Nintendo Kid. I forgot these I forgot these ripoffs existed. Man. Yeah. I wish I could see where were so they now. Yeah, where I uh, wish I could find a where are they now uh, video or something. And what are they doing now? What do they think about himself? I think Viper at least looks back on himself and say, yeah, I was stupid. Ah, uh, it was a crazy time for Viper. We all don't blame him for that. Remember yeah. the R make video where he did half of it as like an AVG and ripoff? Yeah, Probably the can. Ghostbusters 2. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was trying I, to show uh, people. He's trying to show people, look, I'm not an AVG and ripoff. What I do is much different. I don't know. Did, did you ever talk to him with us uh, back when he was first starting out? And he talked to Charlie, um, Ronnie, uh, Rich. Yes. Uh, I, yeah. I did, I did very briefly because he was in J Man's Part One of Donkey Kong Country. Work your, I'm not saying you you know deserve 400,000 subscribers, but you know people like him who literally you know record some game footage and then talk about something you know that's um, relevant or what you know like uh, something that's not. What am I thinking of? You you just said it. Drama. Um, not racy. Damn it. What's that word? Controversial. Con thank you. I'm a retard, Ronnie. Yes, con <laughs> controversial. And have you seen I my baseball? Have you seen my baseball? Yes, I am. I am. I'm sorry people were mentally disabled. I did not mean it in such a way. Well, I, loved, anyway. I loved Rich when he was doing video game reviews. And some of his oh, news yeah. article stuff was good. And his, his dating nightmare stories and bathroom horror stories were entertaining to listen to. So, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he has some good stuff. He had some great stuff, but I've tried watching the past maybe like 20 videos, and I'm like, this is just the same stuff over and over again. I'm really bored here. Yeah. All uh, right, and I'm getting Link's getting bored here. Is he's doing more grinding here? Yeah, he's just he's like, I want to be with you guys. I know. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I, 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 I want to talk about random stuff. This is basically what we're, you know, we talk about Rich doing footage and talking about stuff. That's what we're doing. We're doing footage of a game, but just talking about yes. something else. But That's what I was three, thinking. There, there's three of us. It's not just yeah. one person constantly yeah. talking. So it's even I know worse. It's, yeah, but <laughs> Rich, has, Rich has an ECW radio voice. He does. He would make a great radio host. I cannot disagree with you there. What is this, Cave Story for GameCube? <laughs> I think we got to the LP of that years ago. Oh, yeah, Cave Story. Yellow also, chew jelly. Yeah, I love that that fuels your... So what, are they made into, like, some early form of petroleum? <laughs> yeah. I like to think it tastes like je like jello. <laughs> it tastes like gasoline! <laughs> yeah. You jelly? <laughs> oh. Uh, Wendy, do you need to go to the jelly school? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, more, more of those lizards from Ocarina Tom. The dongos, whatever they're called. They call the dongos, Ronnie. Get it right. Yeah. Gosh, Get it right, Ronnie. idiot. It, 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 it's the dongos, <laughs> dumbass. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. I want to play a Zelda. Yeah. Ah! It's Link. Dill hole. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. 
I oh seen uh, there's a cartoon drawing where some kid was holding up a little stick, acting like it's a sword. <laughs> Mommy, look, I'm Zelda. And she smacks him right across the face and says, It's Link, <laughs> you stupid little sh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not going to lie, when I was a kid and I first discovered Zelda, I thought he was named Zelda too. I didn't, because I didn't play Zelda that early, though. And uh, Metroid, I think I did think her name was Metroid or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. And like, when I first discovered the game, Metroid, and then say Samus. Oh, okay, then, of course, but a lot, like everybody else, I thought it was a guy. Nope, it's a woman. No, no, no. I'm a big fan of the bands Pink Floyd and Jethro Tull, and I hate it when people think that that's someone in the band. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I remember uh, someone uh, saying, you know, back then they had to have smoked something. I mean, who would come up with the name Pink Floyd? And my friend, my friend goes because his name is Floyd and his favorite color is pink. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> it, it, like the song "Comfortably Numb" is just about an it's going to the dentist. I mean, yeah. it, it's not about like getting high off something. Yeah. I've become comfortably dumb. Actually, it's a lot deeper than that. Oh, okay. Well, that, okay, that's just the easy. Okay. I, you, you've explained. That whole I'm, wall album tells a story. There, there's kind of a, a, a Pink Floyd reference in Shadowgate. The slime that kills you, it says you feel nothing, you just, you just dissolve. Oh, you wow. Just, or something like that, like, well, there it goes, hey, there is no pain, you are receding. Uh, you I was about to say, that, 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 that's your end, Tibbs. Uh, my favorite band is Rush, so I, I, I like Pink Floyd, uh, but I'm not like a fan. Sorry, I I'm in. I love Rush. Oh, oh yeah, thank God. I, okay. I, I loved Rush. 2112 is one of my favorites. It, it, uh, it really is. Temple of the Sphinx, oh, man, just. Ooh, I, I, loved, no, I, I loved I loved Rush and Mega Man 3. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Now, no, honestly... Sorry, uh -huh. I'm going to say one more time real quick. The, one of the videos I took down in 2007 was the Tom Sawyer review. Not the one that's still up today from 2013, of course, but uh, one of the ones I was embarrassed by. As far as like the intro and ending music to that review, I used Rush from... Uh, I mean, Rush. Yeah, Tom, Tom Sawyer Tom from Sawyer. Rush. Tom Sawyer. Yeah. He's a modern-day warrior. Mean, mean stride. Yeah, I yeah. think he got third party too. Oh, oh, I'm sure. No, I, I think, and it's weird. My favorite Rush album is one of their later ones. I think Roll the Bones has to be my favorite album. <laughs> and oh, cool. I, I used to not say that. It used to be, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the album. It was mid '80s. Uh, shit, I don't remember the name of it now. But it was never like the original or anything. Cause I like. I like 90 permanent of Rush permanent songs. waves farewell to yeah. kings. It wasn't yeah, it wasn't permanent well, farewell to kings. Um, oh, I'm trying to think about it. It's uh, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to look this up one more time. How could you not remember? You call yourself a fan? I'm just kidding. Well, be you no, know, uh, it's honestly. You don't even know. <laughs> no, it's honestly because uh, I don't know. For the past two years, my new favorite album has been Roll the Bones, and that's for some reason I just got into that album. Nice reference there by Tibbs. You don't even know! <laughs> no, I mean, well, you gotta... You're not a I... Rush fan, because you don't even know. Yeah, you don't even know. What? Oh, yeah, Grace Under Pressure, duh. Oh, God. yeah, uh, Grace Under Fire is a good TV show. <laughs> no, I used to really love Grace Under Pressure, because it was, like, the, the pinnacle of the 80s, you know, rock album. So, yep. Cold War paranoia, it was great. Yeah. But now I, I think I think probably Bet Your Life has to be my favorite song at the moment. Anyway, enough about <laughs> Who wants to listen to some Hall and Oats, guys? I've been listening to them all day. It's been fantastic. Quaker Oats? She's a mad eater. <laughs> She's a scary lady. <laughs> She's an angry tiger. The man in the box. Down, 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 down. Here he comes, Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> I, I we're gonna have to title this building, this building, this. <laughs> this, this building. <laughs> are you, are this you video drunk, Tim? anything but Zelda? <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. It's like 20 minutes of adventure, 20 minutes of po hunting. We've got to mix it with other things. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is cool. It's great. I mean, I have no problem. This is enjoyable. We're talking a little Zelda. We're talking a little music. It's fantastic. You know, a little wrestling. Tommy Dreamer. A little rape. wrestling. Uh, uh, what, <laughs> beautiful Gilly Cuddy. No, I'm pregnant. Raven goes, the pills say one at a time, moron. What do you care? It's not yours. 
Oh, starts beating oh. up Stephen Richards. No, don't. It's not his either. In the crowd. Oh, Tommy. Tommy. Oh, man. One thing I, I never hope gets on the internet is I was at a at a convention with a friend, and we got really drunk, and we went to the karaoke room, and they were recording it. And me and my friend Mike did Man in the Box. That's what he wanted to do. That was his. It was like, uh, okay. And I was drunk enough to start yelling and screaming, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, that man in the box. He's a Yes, it was, it was probably that bad, but hopefully, hopefully that, that footage has been burnt or, like, thrown in an SD card and thrown in the ocean. <laughs> and then, like, but then during the karaoke, you fell asleep. No, if, you, if, you were, if, you were, if you were a wrestler, your finisher would be not just a sleeper. Well, it would be the sleeper, but we call it, I don't know, Sleeping Beauty. I, I love it. <laughs> One time, Jeff falls asleep. What, 2009? Yeah. One no, time. No, 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 you, no, hold on. The Skip Rogers video we were watching, you fell asleep. That was the first time. And then the, the, the Papyracy podcast, you, it's still up today. Charlie starts playing the Wake Up Jeff music to try to wake you up, and you still didn't wake oh, up. Okay, okay, so three times all together then. Two or three times, yeah. So. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, it was twice, that's right. But only twice. It's been like seven years, Ronnie. Well, you know, Let funny it, reputation like that stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, oh. Hopefully, nobody's falling asleep during this commentary. Uh, listening to this commentary, rather. Nikita fell asleep. <laughs> Nikita Koloff? Oh. Nikita Cruz, Jeff? Golovin. <laughs> La Femme Nikita? Oh. Ooh. Our Nikita references are about fun. <laughs> Next, after Raw, the USA Network. Dun, 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 dun. La Femme Nikita. <laughs> I never watched that show, and then I found out it was a movie first, before there was a show. I was like, what the heck? I, I've never, wow. I never watched the film Nikita. Well, you should come to my shop and buy it. I have the complete series for sale. Is it good? I'd never watch it. I don't know. And next week, Rob will be preempted by the Westminster Kennel Dog Show. Oh, jeez, <laughs> I remember that. They were pissed me off back then. I'm like, who cares? Oh, yeah. Who wants to see dogs? Who wants to see wrestlers? But my dog. Who wants to see puppies? Crazy. Yeah, JR, uh, oh. Jerry Lauder. Will there be puppies there, JR? <laughs> I doubt it, King. Oh, forget it. I, I love my dog, though. I want everyone to see my, my dog. J Man almost got tore up by the guard dog I lived with. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> not, not really. The dog oh. was tied up, but. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, like, came back there and just. He, he was a guard dog. He barked at any. He hated it, all strangers. <laughs> it looked like he's going to rip your throat out. Oh, poor guy. I mean, that sucks. You you get down you get down there to see you, and then almost attacked by a dog. Yeah, so it's okay, Pete. Pete. <laughs> J-Man, if you're listening, we miss you right now. Yeah. Happy late birthday. <laughs> Happy late birthday to you. Yeah. Uh, thanks, you know, buddy. Jeff, I gotta say, since we're all over the wall in this video, I might as well bring it up. Your Why Skype not? profile pic, Jeff. You look like so like dignified. Oh, yeah. that that's Barry Burton from Resident Evil One in the live action version of like the movie at the beginning of the game. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my I, god. I, I, I love Resident Evil that much. I am just You almost oh, became just, a Jeff sandwich. It, it, it makes sense now. You're right. What, what, what is this? Chris was our old partner, you know. Let me handle this. All right, so have you played the 20 pose my, yet? Me and my British friend Daniel can do Resident Evil, like the first game, line for line. Just that, seriously. Don't open that door. But Chris is... <laughs> what is... The Oscar line is when he gets impaled by the tyrant. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, 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 love, uh, I love Chris when, um, when the tyrant is getting ready to attack Chris. He's like... You can't kill me! Well, yes, it can. <laughs> oh, his time ran out. Oh. All right, so have we gotten, jeez, uh, the 20 pose yet? Uh, whoa. What the in the world? This ain't Star Tropics. Get out of here. <laughs> two hello, hello, hello. Two can't Sam over here. Ah, uh, dang it, it took my line. Well, this is plumb stupid. What is going on here? <laughs> Follow your nose to wherever it goes. <laughs> yeah, 
you punch him in his nose. Follow that. It's stupendous. <laughs> it's putrid. <laughs> oh, he, he's got a watermelon, an orange, and a strawberry. He is the Fruity Loops man. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. He, he's the Fruity O's. He's the generic. He can't be Fruit Loops. Yeah. Not the uh, software Fruity Loops. No, no. Fruity Loops. PC. All right, time to learn another song here. You see, do you? Has anyone ever used Fruity Loops? Yeah, I did briefly okay. back like 10 years ago, I think. Yeah, I was just curious. I didn't know if people... I mean, people are using it. I just never met anyone in I my I used to film. eat them. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had to move to Raisin Bran, though. I need my fiber. You're getting old. Teach vibe. Yeah. Whoa. Late, lately, oh I've my. been into multi-green Cheerios. Ah, see, that that's a good choice, too. I, I decided to go with, I had, it was between Honey Nut Cheerios and Raisin Bran when I went shopping. So I went with Raisin Bran, because I kind of like it. So this ain't the Twilight Zone, but, a Twilight Zone, the Twilight Realm, but, um, I guess it's like the, the, uh, good, someone, uh, a different uh -huh. version of the, you know, those giant birds you use in the Twilight Realm? It's like the, This uh, is that like, bird before someone blew its face off. Someone yeah, literally yeah, yeah. called... Someone call Sega. They they just took Panzer Dragon and ripped it off. Yeah, and dang it, I got started. Ronnie, you need, you need to get good, Ronnie. Yeah, you need to get good. Get good. I still love that video, by the way. It ain't about get good, get good, get good. F you. <laughs> no, it ain't about getting good. Oh, it isn't about getting good? Oh. Yeah, the, the guy that did the video, he's, a, he's my brother. And, uh, you know, I was kidding. Um, <laughs> From another mother. <laughs> yeah. With the Dudley Boys here. <laughs> Dudley <laughs> Oh my god, the Dudley no, Boys. Uh, my, my friend Damon, my high school friend that was with me in my uh, Captain Planet review a while back. Um, he His name is Damon, and like uh, since I kind of like Bubba Ray, if, like, uh, if I gain more weight because I have glasses, my friends are talking about, like, uh, yeah, I'm Bubba Ray and Devon, uh, Demond, Demond Dudley, <laughs> me and him with the Dudley Boys. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of brothers and different mothers. Yeah, I'm Rumble. would be Spike. Hey, 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 this is my, this is my brother, Rumble. <laughs> oh you sound my like goodness. the Undertaker more than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. So is the Undertaker retired now? He's getting close. Oh no. Okay. Almost. Almost. He's he, he's starting to look. At, he's still in great shape for his age, but he's starting to show it. At the same time, he's been doing it 30 years. He's pretty soon he's gonna uh, be done. Well, I figured according to the script, they were probably going to kick it after he lost the championship a couple years ago or whatever. Yeah, and or when he lost to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Uh, well, I figured I figured that was in the script. You know, he was starting to work his way out. Yeah, but I'm glad he go out like that because I mean, that, it's, it's a sucky way to go out. I know, but I still don't agree with that bills. to this day. Undertaker. I mean, I know that he didn't protest it, and he's you know he's uh, he's okay with it. But man, as a fan, and not people, Roddy Piper said this too, Mark Calloway should have been the only guy to be undefeated at WrestleMania. He earned that legacy. Yes. Well, you, you better write a letter to the script writers and be like, well, you, you can't need change, to change it this. now. I mean, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, go back in time. Say, say you invented a time machine. That was a meme know. after that happened to show Doc Brown and Marmy Fly saying, "We gotta go back, Doc. <laughs> Take the loss. We gotta go back." <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's great. Uh, uh, Brock Tannen. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. They fly. Jokes, you, everybody. Chicken? We're full of them. <laughs> Remember, he goes, hey, uh, but Biff, you gotta understand one thing. What the hell is that? <laughs> he throws that <laughs> gold frisbee at him and he. <laughs> you know, he's a stand up comedian. Who? Uh, Biff. I thought I said she. Have you ever have you ever heard the song that he wrote? No, no, I've heard about it, but I've never heard it. What? It's pretty funny. Cheesy, gotta, but funny. I gotta listen to it after we get done with this, because, yeah, I've heard about it. I completely forgot. Oh, what are you laughing at, butthead? <laughs> Check out your mom uh, for like a tree and get out of here. It's leave. You idiot. He makes fun of himself. You idiot. Like, that's what we, that's what we do in real life. We look at our young self and think you idiot. Oh, I know. Well, we all did a bunch of stupid stuff when we were younger, and it's like, oh, why would you do that? Yeah, Biff Tannen put himself on the list. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back uh, to my little castle town again. 
everybody. We got jokes. We got everything you need here at the Ronnie Let's Play. Well, we got all the pose we need here to free Rousedower from his curse. Pose before hose. Yeah, as Shane soon looks on in the background. <laughs> Zap Rousedower is what they call him, sir. You mean the guy from Crime Patrol? Yeah. <laughs> him yeah, as yeah. well, but uh, fi final sacrifice. It's a Mystery Science Theater 3000 episode. Yeah. Oh. S2K, a poor, a poor man's version of Mystery Science Theater 3000. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but man, I wish there was more Crime Patrol games. Those were the best to make fun of. Yeah. Well, here's something to make fun of. This this uh, shop right here. A bunch of idiots. Someday we around. should do Night Trap. J Man did it. Uh -huh. Oh, we already yeah. did it. Here we go. One and two and three and four and dance. Jeff, what is your uncle doing there? <laughs> Jeez, well, man. you know, he had to get a job somewhere. He is an alcoholic. Freaking Sonograph. What is this, Uninvited? He stole the Sonograph from that game? Man, I uh, love this guy and this music. This is great. I'm having a good time over here. I love how this store is like this, but the one that runs the whole thing is that little yeah. midget. Yeah. Who's the complete opposite of, uh, of uh, him dancing over there. Yeah. Oh, and one and two and Jazzercise. Yeah. Disco kid. This is kind of nice. For some like, reason, we... for some reason, when I first played this, I thought getting that uh, armor I just bought was required in the game, so I just kept on grinding and grinding and grinding. <laughs> and someone told me, no, that's a side quest. Or you don't have to get that. Oh, okay. Can we just stay here, Ronnie? This is nice. No, Woo. I'm getting ready to leave. I can't Woo. stand this. Woo. Woo. I'd rather be in GameStop. Uh. No, I'd rather be here. This is fun. Let's dance. I'd rather be in Come your on. shop. Ronnie, have you ever... Have you ever tried to go into the into the store before they buy it? Nah, not that I remember. They won't let you in unless you get your shoes shined. Oh, jeez. Oh, Mary boy. Poppins over here now. Whoever that is. No, this is. Hey, baby, you should get out of here. Her. That's the, Aww. That's the that maiden. place was cool. That was the human version. Spent all of the day maid. in there. That was the human <laughs> version. The human version of the maid, Mrs. Beakley in Ducktales. Hey, he did leave at night. What did he do with that woman? Ronnie, what were you doing <laughs> with that older lady? You have to find out next week on the Predator. <laughs> <Wait, laughs> anyway, well, it won't be a predator because she's of age. Anyway. <laughs> to catch a milk. <laughs> oh, jeez. Tellman? Sorry. Uh, but uh, let's uh, go and dig under Tellman's bar, I guess. Is what we're Maybe doing she's the predator. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. I like All right, that. Alright, Rouse Dower's house. Rouse tower, rouse tower. What? Where's that? All right, he should be free now. <laughs> he's made of gold. Uh, nice. Well, he's still made of gold though. At least he can move. And he's got like some big chompers, his teeth. Yeah. Got the great fairy's tears. The. You better go find out if he, he... I think he's got some fairies in, like, a cage in the back. You better cry, fairies. You better yeah. Cry. Yeah. He's got emeralds for tits. Yeah, <laughs> that is a little weird. Are these fairies' tears taste salty? Mm. Oh, wait. You got to collect a total of 60? Jeez, what's going to reward us with after that? It never is, right? Yeah, I guess you have to find out. Ooh, and ooh. And we need to go back to that store. That was catchy. No, I can't stand that store. Stupid store. It burns down. I hope everybody inside burns down with them. <laughs> oh, God. No, no seriously. Like, I've heard uh -huh. people like wish stuff like that on people. Like, this guy I used to work with, he was a waiter. And he got mad at these uh, cheerleaders for, like, stiffing him. And granted, I don't blame him for getting mad for them, for stiffing him, not tipping them good. But he goes, yeah, they didn't tip me good. I hope their bus crashes and they die in the fire. They bang on the windows trying to get out. Uh, jeez. Uh, Whoa. What in the world? Whoa. But I do hope those people in that shop die, though, and burn alive. Anyway. Uh, and, um, ooh, and ooh. Ooh. And ooh. And I'm on fire. Ah. <laughs> oh, right. they're good people. They're just oh. trying to make a living. I hope this guy dies in a fire, too. I'm just kidding. I'm a, I'm a, he, he's a clown who didn't pass clown college. Jeez, Ronnie, you let yourself go. <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's me at 40 or 50. Oh, jeez, four, that's four years from now. I better get in shape. Um, oh, man. All right, well, here's a good here's a good thing about this part. I'm willing to endure this BS right here. Whoa, they're Coco's. 
Uh, and like, uh, because now we're going to the uh, Grill Valley or Desert Oasis to get ready for that part in part 18. Oh no, he's gonna get shot out of the cannon. It's like a Mario 64. Yahoo! Oh. Yahoo! And we will continue that part in part 18. Until then, God bless and take care. Goodbye. See ya. That was real off the wall. <laughs>